Since we're in the international break and some national teams have already dropped their Euro jerseys, you may have noticed that as always they don't put sponsors on the jersey, or like the clubs who generate millions of euros from it. For example, Emirates pays over 70 million every year for Real Madrid. You can say that clubs have fans all over the world and play every week, not like national teams. Yes, that's true. But there are big competitions like the World Cup, which is watched by billions of people. So they certainly lose a lot of money by not having sponsors. So there must be a reason for that. Yes, there is. And in fact, there are many. The most important one comes from FIFA, which made this clear years ago by establishing rules that prevent any team from wearing jerseys with sponsors during matches. The reason being that FIFA has its official sponsors in every competition who pay millions of euros, so they must give them exclusivity. If this wasn't the case, we'd have Coca-Cola, for example, paying millions to FIFA to be one of its official sponsors. And at the same time, you could have Argentina, for example, in the final wearing a jersey sponsored by its competitor Pepe. And we'd most likely remember the second one, especially as there would be dozens of four shared online with the sponsor's logo on them. And FIFA hasn't just banned them in major competitions. No, they are not even allowed in friendly matches. Of course, there have been a couple of federations in the past that haven't respected FIFA's rules, including the Netherlands, Argentina, Brazil, etc. And of course, they have been sanctioned by FIFA. For example, the Colombian Federation had to pay $64,000 in 1993 after the Colombian team wore jerseys with the Bavaria logo. And not just jerseys, I mean you shouldn't wear anything that contains the logo of any company. For example, during the 2008 18 FIFA World Cup in Russia. Many national teams, including England and Sweden, were fined thousands of euros after several players wore branded ankle support sacks. And Croatia was fined 60,000 euros for allowing players to drink new FIFA sponsored drinks. Because they are very strict about this, you know you can't even drink anything in the stadium that isn't affiliated with FIFA. You may notice that they put logos like Nike, Adidas, etc. And that's because it's the logo of the company that makes the jersey. It's the only one they can put and it has to respect a certain size and it can't be that big. But even federations have the right to have a source of advertising revenue. So FIFA has given them the right to have sponsors on the jersey, but only during training sessions. Even if the companies don't reach many people like they do during the big games, but it can work. Because the media take pictures and the players themselves share on social media. I mean you know when Cristiano or Messi share something, it blows up, although it was only during training. And some national teams even have sponsors on their official jerseys, but they don't play with them in official matches. As we said, it's restricted by FIFA. But they take photos with them when they advertise and promote the jersey. And they also sell them with the sponsor's version. Now you may say it's not fair. Well, for a lot of teams, I don't think it's important for them, because a lot of them are funded by the Ministry of Sports. I mean, they are sponsored by people's taxes. It's not like a club which is like a business that needs a source of income, otherwise it's gonna collapse. Not to mention that the national teams have sponsors who may appear during photo shots, for example. But sometimes this creates conflicts with the players, like Kylian and Papi who recently refused to take part in the French team's photo shots. And this is because the team is sponsored by basically Coca-Cola, KFC, etc. And Mbappé doesn't want his image to be associated with them because he doesn't want to support any kind of gambling and fast food products. And he declared that the players should have the right to choose which companies they will be part of. So some teams avoid sponsors just to avoid this kind of problems. Besides, some people say that the national team jerseys represent countries. You can't just put in your logo on them. It's like a country's flag representing the whole nation. It's better that way. It's like putting a logo on country's flag. Sure, it's not the same thing, but every country has its values. I mean, they can't do business with a company that doesn't represent their values. And since national teams represent countries and their citizens who support them unconditionally and are associated with national identity and pride, and players can die for the jersey without expecting anything in return, adding sponsors logos could dilute this symbolism. Yes, they can have sponsors, but not during the games, because at that moment we forget everything. The only thing we have in mind is to honor our country. But at the end of the day, that's just an opinion, because even if they want to have sponsors, as we said, FIFA doesn't allow it. And it's better that way, because almost everyone is ready to support their national team out of their pockets, if it's needed, than seeing them wear a jersey with sponsorship from a company whose values they don't agree with.